Okay, so we're here with Mike from Overland Bound, and today he's going to be explaining a bit about his company, Overland Bound, and his epic rig. Yeah, Dan, thanks for having me. I really appreciate it. Uh, I'm Michael, and uh, Overland Bound, we form, uh, formed Overland Bound a few years ago. It's, it's based on the basic principle that adventure is necessary for everyone. And you guys know on your epic adventures, yeah. you need support, you need a community, uh, you need to be able to plan trips, you need to be able to find those great locations and you need to be able to navigate off, off road. And so we built Overland Bound as a, as a, as a support organization for the, the community. Mm -hmm. And we keep doing more and more, uh, you know, uh, every year uh, we've got software, it's called Overland Bound One, it's free, it's on iOS and Android, that's the only shameless plug I'll do. Um, but we keep making that, yeah. we keep making that better and better just to help support the community because we want you guys to get out there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Today, we're looking at the venerable uh, FJ80 Land Cruiser. Uh, we'll just do a, a real brief walk around, but uh, Corey and I, this is a vehicle we travel, uh, we travel in. And as we go through it, keep in mind that this is, I consider this a really good um, platform for two people, right? So usually this time I've got my son and myself, most of the time it's Corey and I, um, but when you're supporting five, you yeah. need more support gear, right? Yeah. So keep that in mind, this is about for, for, for two people. So it's a 96 F, uh, ZJ80 Land Cruiser up front, ARB, um, KC, all kinds of sun uh, for traveling either at low speeds or high speeds on uh, on the on the trail at night. And then it's got a worn MH1000 uh, winch on it. Um, and that's about it on the front end. So BF, uh, BF Goodrich uh, uh, KM3s. Uh, these are uh, uh, 315 75R16s. It's got a two, in, two and a half inch old man emu uh, lift. Um, it's got the Overland Bound emblem, uh, which is good for about another five or six horsepower. I wouldn't say it goes more than that. <laughs> uh, these, are, these are sliders. They're not steps. Um, they will support the full weight of the vehicle and we use it, we use it often. The one thing I'll say is that this is, um, a uh, a very utilitarian rig everything on it it just it, it serves the purpose uh, the snorkel for example you can't overland unless you have a snorkel uh, you can't get your overland card without a snorkel and this is uh, uh, overland pros 270 degree, degree awning opens up in like 30 seconds uh, really really convenient here on the edge of the Grand Canyon we tie down our chairs <laughs> Otherwise we lose them. And in the back here, this is a Hannah quality bumper and everybody always asks me, they say, hey, where do I get that bumper? Because it's dual swing out, lots of storage, carries a big tire, full size tire, plus max tracks in the high lift. I'm sorry folks, you can't get them. They're, they're just, uh, you know, maybe if you get a hold of Hannah quality on Instagram, you could talk to them, but it's FZJ80 specific or FJ80 specific, hard to get but flat space is at a premium and storage is at a premium. So we also have a Back Bay Customs storage here and we put things in here that we're gonna need right away. So, you know, a trauma kit, um, uh, the tire repair kit, things for getting unstuck. That all goes here because it's relatively easy to access. And then, we also have a full slide out drawer and this um, is, is kind of a, uh, it, it's been a recent game changer for us. We have all of our kitchen and food and other things in here. Um, and we've got a Dometic CD30 fridge. It's a horizontal unit and that allows this top platform to be a sleeping platform. Here we've got a big power block that's got a thousand watt pure sine wave inverter behind it plus the 12 volt system. Um, so you can charge all kinds of stuff here. We have cargo rails so that our personal effects are, are locked down. They won't rattle around. Um, and in these boxes, um, I'm going fast because I want to keep it interesting for you guys. 
All right, so in these boxes, basically the way this works is I hand this box to Miguel and I say, you can bring anything you can fit in this box. I don't care what you bring, it, it goes in that box. And so this is for personal effects. And then when we're at the campsite, this comes out, it goes on the front passenger seat. This is his, this is mine. Mine goes on the driver's seat. This is where we sleep. So in, in our case, we sleep inside the rig. We also have a tent up top. So if we decide to go tent camping, we can, we can camp on top. And then the top rack has uh, Zarge's cases permanently installed on the rack. They're permanently installed. And what that means is there's no ratchet tie downs. So I don't have to take off any straps in order to get into the cases. They lock and I can just hop up on the, the slider, open it up, get what I need, close them. Match tracks, trash. First aid always goes here, high lift here. Um, so, you know, and this is a trauma kit, so it's, it's lots of stuff that you need for trauma situations. Um, and then the max tracks, one thing I'll give a pro tip is I used to have the max tracks on the roof, really anchored down. Mm -hmm. Um, and when you're in the cold and you're in the snow, you don't want to be climbing on your roof and unbolting max tracks. So these are mounted in such a way that I've got one clip behind here loosen that clip, pull this out, and they just drop, and I can use them right awesome. away. So, uh, water, super important, especially out in this environment. You know, we were going through it yesterday. We, yeah. you know, walked down to the river. So a, a conservative, meaning safe estimate, we always tell folks uh, two gallons per person per day. That'll also take care of some dishes, and if you got a dog, take care of that. But two gallons per person per day, it's a lot of water. We have the Lifesaver five gallon here, and this is good because it doesn't really matter um, what water we put in here, as long as it's not chemically contaminated. Uh, we can filter and clean this water. So five gallons goes out, uh, goes in, clean water comes out. It's got a little pump, um, so there's no, um, I used to have an electric pump, but now I've just switched to a manual pump because it's just more simple and more reliable. And then you've got, you've got your, your, your water uh, there, and it's really easy to access. Now, in addition to that, we have um, this uh, uh, water container here, and you can see that's empty. We pack lots of water with us. Now, let's talk about doing your business. Here, up here, also we'll see, you know, kind of the, the ease of getting into these cases. This is a porta potty. Uh, it's that small. This is a privacy shelter. So if you're out in the desert and you don't have a tree to go behind, you, you can open up this privacy shelter, uh, deploy this, do your business, and you're a happy camper. Awesome. Yeah. I like how you don't have straps on those because even our yep. Alu boxes on our Jeep have straps and you have to take them off each time. Yeah. So when I uh, when I get a when I get a um, flat tire. Open the case, boom, and I've got my compressor right there. I've got my winch controller right here. I've got my light covers off because we rolled in here. Uh, we've been rolling around in the dark. Light covers go right in there, and they're they're just easy to get to. So, yeah. And then I've got the tent and some other things, shovel, axe, that kind of stuff. And I think that's about it uh, for the rig. On the inside, of course, we have ham radio, and you might see that speaker hanging down by the driver's side. That's a speaker that's right by my ear so that I can hear uh, the ham radio when I'm on, on the trail. Um, you guys, what did I miss? I don't think you missed anything. <laughs> that was awesome. Yeah, that's pretty good. I'm, I'm, trying to run minutes, through, yeah. I'm trying to run through it relatively quickly. Um, hey, the the rig is really is really awesome, but it is a you know it's a it's a 20 plus year old vehicle. On the way out here, we basically <laughs> I've got a new engine in it, but the wiring harness is the original wiring harness. So mm -hmm. Miguel and I were in in uh, uh, Carson City, Nevada, and we spent about six to eight hours under the hood building a new wiring harness because. <laughs> it was shorting out and you know so it has its it has its uh it has its quirks but it, in terms of its capability it's it's really really good well thanks mike for showing yeah. us around your rig absolutely awesome. thanks for having me on your channel being yeah. a guest i really I, I really appreciate it yeah you guys are member 40 40 10. yeah so that is uh, a little while ago, you guys have been members of the community for quite some time. Yeah, we actually got our badge while we were in New Zealand. We 
shipped it to our uncle in Canada, and then he shipped it to New Zealand, and it's pretty cool to put that badge on. <laughs> That's be awesome. Be a member. Yep, yep. Well, part of the, you know, I mean, we've been supporting each other the mm -hmm. last couple of days, you guys need stuff, I need stuff, and, yep. and that's, you know, we, we know each other, mm -hmm. so, um, you know, we just know each other. But I guess the point I'm trying to make is that when you do things like this, like you guys and your adventures, mm -hmm. um, you need support, right? Yeah, From definitely. time to time you need support, and so that's what the community's all about. Mm -hmm. Thanks for being a member of the community. Yeah. I appreciate it.